A crime alert in Northern Virginia. Police are searching for a group of thieves suspected to be responsible for a string of smash and grabs. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder takes us inside a couple of those jewelry stores that were hit. It happened in what felt like the blink of an eye, and it was terrifying. Store employees, too shaken up to go on camera, described the sound of a hammer smashing into their display cases and thieves filling their arms with the gold jewelry inside. When the chaos ended, the burglars left a mess of shattered glass and left with tens of thousands of dollars worth of stolen jewelry. Sonia's jewelry store in Springfield was hit on Tuesday, but they are just the latest in a string of smash and grabs across Fairfax County. It started at a jewelry store in Tyson's Corner Center on September 8th. Surveillance cameras captured these images of the three suspects at Tyson's. Ten days later, inside Fair Oaks Mall, another jewelry store was hit. The employee there let News 4 inside to get this video, but again said he's too nervous to show his face on camera, describing the deafening sound of hammers smashing smashing the glass case that held high-end watches. The employee inside the jewelry store at Fair Oaks Mall tells me perhaps the most surprising part of this entire ordeal was how casually the burglars walked away with thousands of dollars worth of stolen merchandise. He said with their arms full, they walked through the mall as if they were any other shopper. And Fairfax County Police say that type of behavior tells them that this probably isn't the first rodeo for these burglars. It definitely does look rehearsed. Like this isn't the, uh, obviously we're investigating three here in the county. We're trying to determine the uh, relationship amongst all three, but um, it's not their first time doing it. Now police are urging store owners to be extra vigilant. Detectives believe it's the same group of guys involved in each of these three crimes, smashing up cases and shattering the safety of store employees. Reporting in Fairfax County, Drew Wilder, News 4. Fairfax County Police are reminding store owners about a crime prevention program they offer. Officers will go to a business and provide a sort of safety inspection and guide store owners on the best way to prevent crime inside their store.